Hey young guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're out here, we're in the zoo. We're hunting out a zoo for the dogs. The weather's sort of just dried out enough to full it to stop fully flooding. Hopefully the pigs are coming back more into the creeks and gullies now, not all spread out and so hard to find. But we've got Bo, I mean, sorry, Blaze and Bo with us today. I'm gonna try to put Bo on a few more pigs because he's very green, hasn't been on much and he's pretty slack at the moment, but yeah and i've got a new gun so i'm going to give you a rundown of the gun let's get into it Alrighty, guys check out the new weapon of choice so it's another 357 i done a like for like I, I sourced out trying to get a new barrel for the mile and it was probably going to cost me about the same price we didn't know if the um the chamber and the the action was damaged because it was a little bit tighter on the action and stuff so we weren't too sure and it could have cost me more but the lure shop like i wanted to get back out hunting and they got this thing quick as done me a like for like so i just handed my gun in and this was straight in my name because it's of the same caliber which is really good but i'm super keen to use this and probably the first few things that i noticed that are different to the marlin is it probably black not half the weight but it's pretty close it is super light and it's about the same size but definitely way lighter which is a good thing um nice little open sights when i first got the marlin it had like a little i don't know what they're called like a little loop open sight on it but you had to sort of close your eye to look through it and it was no good but this has got a little v-notch thing which is prime with a little gold tip on the end which is yeah i'm super keen to use this nice little hardwood grips not a bad little action i'm gonna say the marlin has a smoother action but half the price and i put a few, few shots through it the other day to make sure it shot straight and she's pretty accurate for an open sight gun so well, probably enough talking, guys. It's an eight-shot thing. I'm going to load some bullets in it, and we're going to get in the hunt. And there's a bit of a gully up the back here. Sort of drop over the hill, and hopefully a few pigs. So we'll see you out there. What do you mean, boys? Go get Go get We got a bit of a hike to get to a bit of a few river gullies, and hopefully the water's stop running, because probably a couple of weeks out of the wet season, I'm super keen to check it out, because there's usually a few good pigs there. Dogs are, are starting to look real keen right now, so... We'll keep pressing. Might be a bit of fresh scent and there's a bit of a pad pushing through here. Hopefully we get on first big. Oh, man, I might get a lugger. Dogs definitely have me on the fitness end. I'm spinning, man. I haven't had any water since I started, but so. Good boys. Another boar, down. Turns out I missed, missed that one on the camera. But um, that boar, he was buggered. Run him out again, fitness, overtook the fitness on the pigs, buddy. Seeing me, he was coming at me. Blaze, like, I don't really like shooting as close as I did, but Blaze just come off the side. He was running at me, I just shot him straight in the head, so. Nice little boar. Even though he's small, them little daggers, they will carve you up. What are you keen now, Bo? It's dead. Good boy. Blaze caught him up. Good boys, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Right on the way back to the women's place, it looks like it's just about to rain. It's gone really dark and overcast, so no good on the way back to the car. So, um, hopefully, it gets sunny later on. I'll go for That's enough, though. That's enough. Good boy. Them dogs make me run, eh? Whew.
Good boys. Good boys. Ah, oh, lucky Blaze got him right next to the water hole. You're, you're a dog for the boars, aren't you? Dog for the boars. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh guys, I don't know about Bo yet, but all him, he done it right for a mob, but this sow, I run, you can probably see in my face, I run a lot of kilometers there then. I think I run a K, I don't know, I run far. There is pros and cons to hanging dogs and bailing dogs, and that right there was a con. Collies, wouldn't go a collie for a bailing dog. It's not hard enough, but he can find them. He's great like that. I got him to be the bit harder, but then he just showed no sign. He had a few barks, but it's probably his like, his first pig was the other day he was on. I didn't film him or nothing, but that was probably his second pig and his first couple of barks I've ever heard, but he did not show any promise then. But we still got it. Lucky I'm fit. End up wearing the pig out. It couldn't run any further. and. Blaze at about he was that buggered he couldn't even bark anymore. He's just slack. He had a real good bark on it. Start about it a few times. Every time I get close, it just blow again. Cause boars are good. Cause they think he's a small dog. They pull up just looking at him, wanting to fight him, and they don't run. So, but we got him in the end. Bo's sort of first piggy had his first somewhat bail on, so that was pretty good. But this could have been a very lucky pig. See there, that was my first shot, clean through the ear. I was aiming for behind the ear shot, which is a pretty good shot for my 357. Ended up cracking it there, which killed it straight up. But, but yeah, that could have been a very lucky pig straight through the ear. It's hard when you run that far and you, you're blowing and trying to get a shot. But lucky, I, it must have stunned it a bit because it just sort of come down, looked at me, and I was like, buggy, you dogs are off, put a quick shot in. So, whew, I need to change your clothes. My I am soaked in sweat. That was hectic. We're just sitting down having a break after that run. Blaze sort of just come good now. Bo, I don't know what's going through his head. Another blue cattle dog that might have rocks in its head, so. <laughs> oh, well, we got it. One sow. Down there, that was a mega mob, eh? That was probably like 30 pigs under that one thing. I was, I was sort of standing there and there was two sows looking at me. I could have shot them. Blaze run in, they just mobbed up on him, run out. I didn't know what he was doing, like big laps, come back around, then he come back to me. I was like, spoof, and then he... That was his first pig, actually, that he shook out of a mob, so well done, Blaze. <sighs> We're not far from the car now, so I want to get back to the car, probably change my shirt out because this is gross. And um, We might hit a little gully because I've seen it like not much boar sign. There's all mob, mob rubbish down there, and we found the mob, so I'm going to hit this little creek that's known for like ridge boars, so they could be pretty hooky. Um, gonna go there have a look and we might even have a swim along the way so we'll see us there To the car got a bit of a change of shirt got off that bit of a hill but as you can see this is that little dried up creek gully i was talking about but if i keep pressing it's sort of this is it junctions down a bit further and we're going to the main creek and usually there's like a lot of like you can sort of see here like sort of starting to get a bit of leaf mulch old pig diggings there and stuff and there's a bit of pig diggings up here but down further the leaf mulch seeds seems to bank up heap so once we get down a bit hopefully there's a pig down there you see here we've got all this is an old sign so it's not looking too good yet but it's just where they've like the leaf mulch is piled up the worms come out of the nice bit of dark soil there and they just they just munch along it smashing worms and whatever's in this thing and yeah that causes erosion so that's why we try and take care of the pig population as much as we can bit fresher sign here it's looking good so just got down to this little creek now the creek should clear up a little bit and hopefully get a few
Good boys, good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys, good boys. Good boys, good boys. Good boys. Good boys, good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Young pup finally having a bit of a go. Got this nice air. Oh, blazy lugger. Done a bit of a shit shot because I was like, I see it was the back end of it, but it was a bit of good training for the dogs and knocked this back end out. Blaze lugged it. I grabbed it as quick as I could and even Bo was having a few little nips and a few barges. So, whew, a bit of good training. I just started hitting a heap of pig ground. Set a pig ground so I'm going to keep going. It looks really good here, so we'll keep going. Well, <clears throat> we've hit the main little river now. As you can see, it's like little dried up pools behind me. It's um looking pretty good, eh? Like, this is what I want, like no crocs for the dogs. There's a few bit of diggers on the side of the bank. It's like water around. I'm just hoping after that sow, we didn't spook it too much, but it's it's looking really good. So I'll probably flick back to you if we get another pig. Otherwise I'll end it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boys. That's a hook. Blaze pulled him up. A little gully on the other side and I heard a yap and I think I accidentally he either got hung up or I accidentally zapped him. I need to put my tracker on lock and yeah, Blaze pulled him out and Bo's having a bit of a bark too, so Blaze Bo's probably his best pig he's been on. Nice set of hooks. Oof, frothing. We better get back to the car because it's getting dark and I've got no torch. How's this for a scenic little creek that I got him on? Wet season, this this will dry up in the dry. But nice little nice little bit of water. Dogs can have a bit of a drink and a swim because it's pretty hot. Good boys. Good boys. Best thing is. No crocodiles, I think. Never trust any water in Cape York. <laughs>